Hi guys, I'm Charlie here from Kadas team. Today I'm here to introduce our new product Kadas Tone Board for the music fanatics. You can see it's packed and Kadas Tone Board comes with two editions. One is BIM edition and one is generic edition. And here, the back side of the box, you can see the basic specifications mentioned. THG plus N, SNR, DNR, crosstalk. You can see here, and the another basic details here also, the compatibility. So, let's unblock it to know more about our Kadash tone board. Unbox the beam edition. And this one is the generic edition. This is the Vim edition. You can see one USB cable, the C-type cable. That's also from Kadas. This is the Vim edition and this is the screw. Let's unbox the generic edition. Again, you can see this uh, USB cable C type from again from Kadash. And this is the screw and the connectors. And this is the generic edition. So I'll first I will tell you first the difference that the Vim edition and that's generic edition. you can see here rest all the things are same here the only difference of the Vim edition and the generic edition is Vim edition you can see the connectors here it's a 20 pin header this is mainly for the developers and here the 40 pin connector for Vim for connecting to the Vim and here the generic edition it doesn't have that but externally we are providing that the 20 pin headers and the 40 pin connector this is the main difference of vim edition and generic edition so let's go through the rest details now i will explain to you about the chips which we used in our kadas tone board here you can see three independent high performance opa and five ultra noise cmos lino regulator you can see four here in the back side and one here and here it comes the deck the deck integrated ess technology flagship 32 byte stereo mobile audio and deck es 9038q2m you can see here and you can see the xmos here the integrated xmos advanced multi-core RICS architecture microcontroller. This is the chips we used in our special Kadas tone board. So now let's know more about the ports. Ports in our tone board. Here you can see three RCA. Two has two RCA for analog output at 2.0 beam. Left channel and the right channel and this one for RCA for SPDIF in or out and here you can see the USB-C connector it's only for generic edition you can see the connector it's for data transmission and charging and here the 30 pin CAN use it for 8 channel extension you can see it here and here we have three FPC connectors. This FPC connector, this is for I2S for Vim. And here 
you can see if user want any screen display use this FPC connector for beams again and you can see a tiny LED indicator here it's LED indicator and coming back here you can see 40 pin connector for beams and here 20 pin header this is only for the developers for debug for tone board and beams for more details about the connectors i mean 20 pin headers you can go through kadas website www.kadas.com k h a d a s c guys .com. how we can fix our tone board with vim as you all know kadas always make our product user friendly so i will show you now how to fix the tone board with kadas vim it's done it's as simple as that kadas tone board and the vim you can see that here now I will show you about DIY case with cooling fan and Vim and the tone board you can see here this is Kadas cooling fan this is Kadas Vim and this is Kadas tone board this also very simple as that I will show you just press it three in one now you can see the stone board cooling fan and beam and here we have a lot of ports but I will just put in one and I'll just screw it that's it you can see the other ports I'm just making it only in one you see it's fixed it's three in one and cool. it's a music time I will show you how to fix it it's the cable and connect here connect the C type cable and you can see that now <coughs> you can enjoy your music with Kadas tone board